to case number six of the ESSR quiz in Lugano 2024. And this is just two slices. So we have one, two. We have a young man and he has a history of metastatic germ cell tumor of the right testis. And he was so basically diagnosed based on a retro uh, peritoneal lymph node biopsy. So seminoma. Okay, so he had seminoma and then with metastasis. So they treated him with four cycles of some, some medication here and post chemotherapy scans showed significant residual disease. So it didn't approach too much and uh, didn't, you know, uh, the medication was not quite really helping very well. And then he developed acute back pain. So this is basically the story they give us here in a young man. And then they give us some lab tests here and we can see the current and the prior. So, but let's, before we have a look at this, let's go to the image. So on the image, we can see we have a PET CT and we have an enhancing focus here, or not an, an, an uptake here at the spinous process here of L3 it is. We have some residual uptake here. Potentially we have some lymph nodes in the paraortic region here with some mild uptake, but it's different. It's not the same uptake, right? So that's one thing to keep in mind. You can see there is not, like, it's not sharp. So there's this residual tumor, and then we have this osteolysis bone destruction also here at the spinous process here of L3. Now, going back to the lab. So obviously we don't really know often as radiologists much about labs, but what we can do is compare numbers. And we can see a bun went down, still a bit higher, but it was much higher then. So creatinine, this is also increased, so with some renal problem. Then we have sodium, this is normal. Then uric acid, slowly increasing, and it's above normal value, so we keep that in mind. This is maybe one we know as radiologists. Potassium, low, whatever. <laughs> Uh, this one is normal chlorate, uh, CO2, yeah, that's okay. And you gap, I uh, forgot what that was all about. And then we have some calcium here, which was also in the upper, a little bit elevated, to be honest. And we can see the glomerular uh, filtration rate was diminished. Okay, so the, the one thing that took, stood out to me was uric acid, because I don't really have any other association with the other stuff uh, from my internal medicine years. It's been a long time ago. Now, with this in mind, when we go to this, Obviously, the uric acid would be gout. So that would be the differential to have gout in the spine. You can have gout in the spine. There's no secret about that. And I checked whether this was in, in, in fact taking gadolinium uh, when you go to, let's see, uh, I think at least that's what I did. So gout uh, PET CT and just see whether gout has a uptake. Um, so let's see if we can find this widespread Gauti Tofi on 18 FTG PET CT. So was admitted, blah, 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 let's see. Uh, 40 with elevated uptake, hands and so. Yes, so we have established here that gout can have FTG PET uptake. You can see Tofi's gout here, lovely case. So it's, it's can, it can show on PET CT. Now, with that established, uh, the question is then, so why would have a tumor after chemotherapy develop gout? And so I was Googling around a little bit. Uh, so basically, tumor, chemotherapy, therapy, gout, probably something like this. And we can then just go here. And very quickly, you will find out that there is something that's called tumor lysis syndrome. Okay. Um, from cancer, uric acid are elevated, causing tumor lysis syndrome. You may notice inflammation of the joint called gout, uric acid crystals. So basically, very quickly we find this here. It took me a bit longer. I'm not sure why um, Why it took me longer. Maybe I was on, on a wrong path for some time, but essentially I came up with, okay, this fits the story. The patient had seminoma and he went to chemotherapy had obviously he had a large tumor or had more tumor than just in the testes. So there was metastasis and residual substance still there after the post chemo therapy. And so he had tumor lysis, which can also obviously hamper with his renal function. Then the tumor lysis in, with the cells going down increases the protein stuff, etc., in the in the blood or the uric acids, and they can then present as torphous gout or just as gout attacks. And in this case, this was uh, then ultimately 
the presentation where the patient where, oh, not seeing it it doesn't show me the last image anymore where the patient went on to have a tofu scout at the spine here indicating why he has this acute pain um, whether this was the reason for acute pain I, I would I would think so but yeah that was basically the answer and just to show you that I'm not telling anything so I wrote actually tumor lysis syndrome with gout or with tophus gout as the answer to this case yeah so it took me much longer um, yeah I must have been some some funny ways with the medications but essentially that's what it is